Welcome back to another episode of Plant-Based Dads. All right, so I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but uh, I just left the gym and I needed to get a few things at Sprouts, so I ran in there. So I wanted to go over some of the things that I that I get on a regular basis, just so uh, you can kind of see what my grocery looks looks like here. And I'll explain what the cost was and, and how we got to that um, in a minute here. So one of the things I get probably about every week is a bunch of cashews. Cashews are an ingredient for me. I use them to make my salad dressings because I don't want oil-based salad dressings. Uh, I use them to make the, uh, the vegan cheese. The cashews, these jars of pimentos, um, and some spices really make up my uh, vegan cheese. And that, that whole video is online for you to watch. Um, I got, I needed bay leaves for, you know, for, for cooking. And I was out, so I got this jar, and Sprouts had a special where if you buy one, you get one free. So two jars of bay leaves for the price of one. I'm definitely a bargain conscious vegan, right? Um, <laughs> I also got a bunch of sumo oranges and some, uh, some tomatoes. Uh, the sumo oranges, as you can see right here, um, they are not cheap. Uh, it's $2.99 a pound, and like each one is pretty much a pound. So uh, I buy them because <laughs> they're only available from the second week of January through like the first or second week of April, and that's it. They're gone for the season, at least here in Arizona. Um, I was at Whole Foods once, and I saw these for $3.99 a pound, and I remember saying to my family, who the hell is paying $3.99 a pound for oranges, right? And then I was like, well, let me take one home and try it because if I don't like it, I'm gonna take it back to Whole Foods and be like, I hated this, give me my money back. And you know, that's me, right? They'll do that. So I took it home. That was a huge mistake. Um, I tried it. It was so juicy. It was like a, a, a memory from my childhood. Remember when you used to buy oranges growing up and they were so good. They were juicy, they were delicious. Um, that's how I remember oranges, but that's not how oranges are. Oranges are dry and they're tasteless. Kind of the same problem that we have with tomatoes, we have with oranges. And even living in Arizona where our produce all comes from California, um, and it's, you know, even the organic stuff, it's all tasteless. So I've yet to find oranges, like when, when there's no oranges in season, like when these sumo oranges are gone in April, I don't eat oranges again until next January because I can't find oranges that I like, that are seedless, that are juicy. These are amazing. We'll peel one up later and uh, I'll go over that for you. Um, but <laughs> there's a lot of oranges here. A lot of my bill, when I tell you the total, is from these oranges, all right? So that's just a personal thing. I like them. I am a budget conscious shopper, but I do know uh, something that's worth the money and that is worth the money. Avocados, um, I almost always buy everything organic. But these avocados are not organic. They were 77 cents uh, each, so I just got a few. But if you're not an organic shopper, you just like to buy whatever's economical so you can save money. Now's really not the time in your life to buy organic, to spend the money on it. I understand. Avocados, 77 cents each. That's a great deal. I got some tomatoes. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Those are organic. I do not eat thin skin vegetables or fruits that are not organic, right? Um, then, this may seem like a lot, but um, I got a bunch of bananas. And let me tell you why. Because for my smoothies, I like frozen bananas. Now, we got our uh, banana tree right here, right? Our banana holder, and uh, we're running low, but even these are still green, right? So, I got a bunch more. I, my goal here is to get at least one of these bunches of bananas to the point where they're spotty, because that's when I can uh, cut them up into pieces, throw them in the freezer, uh, and use it for my smoothies. But I can tell you, I'm 92% sure that these will all be eaten before I ever get to that point. And it's very frustrating. Um, I know first world problems, but I've got to put ice in my smoothie when I'd rather just put frozen bananas. So I probably need, need to buy even more than this, but bananas, organic, which is what those are, organic bananas are really cheap. So. I think you save 10 cents a pound if you don't buy them organic. For the bananas, it's not worth it. I've got a uh, melon right here, which uh, I really like. So I, this is part of, if you've seen my other videos, what I eat in a day, I eat fruit every morning for breakfast. This is it right here, right? 
than <laughs> something that's uh, not uh, a whole food plant-based item is these little chocolate puddings. My family likes them. They're almond-based uh, puddings. They are vegan. They're definitely not a whole food. Um, but there's, there's four little packets in here. As kind of a treat every now and then, I'll get these, all right? And then the last thing I purchased, I've never bought uh, this before, was this, uh, this Mayakos uh, Vegan Mozzarella. <clears throat> One of the things I miss about being a vegetarian is that I love caprese. And if you're not Italian or if you've never had caprese before, caprese is slices of tomato, right, with slices of mozzarella cheese on top, and then some a basil leaf with uh, balsamic vinegar or um, some pesto in its place. So I did get some uh, pesto here, um, some orga sprouts organic basil pesto. Interesting that it says right on it that it's vegan. So I know it's not made with Parmesan cheese, but usually you have to read the labels. But Sprouts is getting very smart about who their customer is. The world is changing. You're wondering if you're making a difference doing this? You are, because right on this jar now, it says vegan in bold letters. It's not like you have to read the ingredient and the ingredients say, Psh, it's vegan, here's the ingredients, right? Um, it's right there on the jar. So that to me is pretty exciting. All right, so I also don't drink uh, dairy milk. Because Even during the 12 years of a vegetarian, I did not drink dairy milk. I drank first soy and then almond milk. So almond milk is cheap. All right, so I'm gonna cut up one of these oranges so you can see what that's all about, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I just washed off a tomato here, and I uh, about to, I just grabbed one of these uh, sumo oranges. Here's the deal with the sumo oranges, all right? They have this like little handle thing on them. You just kind of pull that off at the top, and then the, uh, the skin, this is one of the things I love about these. The skin just comes off like in a few pieces, like, and almost all of the rind. You're not having to peel any of the, the yellow stuff on the end. It just kind of all comes right apart, right? Look, one shot, it's all out, all right? And you can see there here, you know, it's, it's ready to eat. You can put, I pulled the little pieces off here, right? And I can already smell this orange. I can smell the citrus coming right up here. It smells fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna taste this, but I can already tell you it's really juicy. All the, the stuff is off it, right? It's all gone, so it's ready to eat. Mmm, wow. Mmm, absolutely delicious. There's so much juice. I've got that little twinge in my eye because it's so sweet. Absolutely delicious. All right, so we're gonna push those aside for a minute. And now, <laughs> I really wanna try this uh, Mayakos mozzarella, all right? Let's really find out how much like mozzarella this is. All right, so this is a vegan mozzarella. I watched this tomato for this reason. So let's uh, cut this tomato up and see if we can make a uh, little bit of caprese here. Yep, we can, this tomato looks good. So I'll give it a slice here, another slice right here. All right, so I've got my tomato slices here, all right? Put this to the side. Caprese is such a, a simple dish. It's just tomatoes and cheese, right? Of course, you can't eat cheese if you're a vegan, right? So you kind of have to come up with other options. The goal here is to slice a piece of this cheese off. Yay! It slices like real cheese, so that's nice. All right. It's even got a little piece of mold on it like a real cheese. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but let's just take that off there. All right, and let's see. And just to make it like actual caprese, I'm gonna put the, uh, I don't have any basil leaves, but I'm gonna put the, uh, pest, the pesto on it, okay? The vegan pesto, I could just, I could smell the basil from this pesto as soon as I open the jar. It's the real thing. So. All right, here's the moment of truth right here. This was supposed to be a fork, but let's just go with it. Wow, okay. So that tastes just like caprese. So I feel like this is a really good substitute for um, 
for mozzarella cheese. Like this holds up. It's sliceable, so I'm getting that whole you know effect, right? Uh, as if I'm having the mozzarella, the, the sliced mozzarella. It's got the the taste of mozzarella, and maybe it's just because once you throw the pesto on it, right? Can you really taste any cheese anyway? I don't know. Mmm, so good. So, I definitely recommend this product. Um, the taste is there. If you have a cheese that you use in place of mozzarella, let me know. I would love to try that too. But let's look at what I spent today, right? So for all of the stuff, right? The melons, the pudding, the avocado, the pesto, the tomatoes, the almond milk, all the bananas I bought, the pimentos, the jars of pimento, which I use for the uh, for the uh, the cheese, right? The, the vegan uh, cashew cheese, um, the sumo oranges, the mozzarella, the uh, you know all of that stuff. Um, that whole thing was seventy three dollars and thirty three cents. Now, even to me, that sounds like a lot, but I want you to keep some things in mind, right? $16 of that was the oranges. $16. That's not something if you're on a budget you should buy, right? Get cheap oranges or skip the oranges altogether. The only reason I buy those is because I feel because they're only in season from uh, January to April, like if I don't get them now, I'm not getting them. So I did that. But if you take the $15.90, the $16 of the sumo oranges off the $73, or now that we're at, you know, 63, 58, $58, right? Then the vegan mozzarella, that was $9. That's something I saw and wanted to try. I normally don't ever buy stuff like that. So that's not something you would have bought if you're just getting ingredients to make food, right? So that's another, you know, $9 off. So, and then the cashews, <sighs> cashews are expensive. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I buy them in the bulk bins. Those were $5.99 a pound. I filled that bag up because at $5.99 a pound, that's a great deal. But cashews are not cheap. So if you're oil free, you know, you may be looking to buy cashews. But if you're not oil free, if you know, if you're not overweight and you're a vegan, you can use, you know, oil. Oil's cheap, right? Use olive oil or whatever for your salad dressings. Um, so the cashews were $11 to fill that bag up. So had you went to the store, you probably would not have bought all this stuff. Um, you wouldn't have gotten the, the cashews, you wouldn't have gotten the, uh, the, you know, the sumo oranges, and you most likely would not have gotten the, the mozzarella. Then you would have spent $39 on all this stuff, um, which to me is not bad, because I, I got some other stuff here too, right? The, the puddings and all that. So that's my haul from Sprouts today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button. We would really love for you to subscribe so we can keep making videos for you. Leave a like if you like this video. Even if you don't, leave a like anyway. What's not to like? I mean, I don't understand. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what, uh, if you, do you buy this stuff here? Have you had sumo oranges? Let me know if you're uh, on the sumo train. And if you've had this mozzarella before, let me know about that. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, that tomato is not good. Mm -hmm.